good gear mode. I mean, good premium modes besides gear for a while. Let's see. All right. Protoss is probably like weapons is pretty good on Protoss. Uh, but yeah. La journée des jambes. Oui, yeah. Oui. No. I was supposed to try and put down a sentry here. A Reaper time. Okay. I'm gonna try and put down a sentry here, but yeah. I honestly think weapons is probably the weakest one, in my opinion. Okay, Chloras with the Zellies. Well, I got more Zealots here. Uh, but Protoss can have less of the Crystal Forge because their guys are so expensive. Um, but you can also pick like a, like a pretty key unit for the Crystal Forge. Only Manx playing Fury everywhere. Yeah, this week's Weekly Brawl is really boring. I think the other premium game modes aren't that great. Like, what is it? it? There's Switch, which you switch between Terran, Protoss, and whatever. I guess that's a prototype for that's a prototype for um, Kitchen Sink, which I guess I'm not too mad about because at least it gave us Kitchen Sink, which is like probably one of the coolest modifiers ever. And then the other premium modes is like like Commanders Plus. It's like Heroic Commanders, which like puts down like pylons and supply depots, and then like. There's like another structure here in the middle, which I mean, I guess it's like, all right. Uh, it makes the game last like maybe four to five minutes longer. I don't know. Anyways, we got some more sentries here. Oh my God. Look at those illusions. They made zealots? Really? Interesting. I would have had, like, I think, I think the sentry automatically makes archons, I think. Uh oh. Uh oh, not the Marines. With this brawl, I would put the one with no dead commander always. Yes, I would agree with that one. I think when they reworked, when Tia reworked equality, it the, the first time it came out, it was with no dead commanders. So I don't know. I guess Tia forgot. You know, Tia was like, oh, this will be okay. All right, you guys ready for this? This is called the Building Destroyer. The building destroyer. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Those guys are all doing no damage. <sighs> I love it. This is the leveler. He will level every building. Are those probes? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Yellow Immortals are pretty good. He's the- wait, 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 wait. Why are there purple Reapers? Is it because of the grenades? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Purple Reapers? Oh my god. I need a premium mode where you can choose the Brawl modifiers. Oh, that would be amazing. That would be so good if you could choose the modifiers. All right, there we go. Um, but yeah. Yellow Immortals are hilarious. Oh my god, Red Mutalisk. I forgot how fun gear mode was, to be honest. Yeah, but look at him, man. He's just he's just demolishing things. He has double DPS, and uh, he has plus five range. So he's just going to obliterate everything. Would, four or would be four aura all the time. Or six, yeah. I don't know about all the time. It could be. Um, but yeah. Get them, immortals. Level them. I normally put yellow on stalkers, to be fair. This is the first time I'm putting it on immortals, and uh, I think I'm getting pretty handsomely rewarded for it. Uh, May your death be swift, damn. Adepts have no chill. What the? Actually, Adepts, do they shoot up? They only shoot ground. Okay. So these are not as good as Phoenix Adepts. If they were Phoenix Adepts, they would actually be really good. Oh god, a flying unit. The Mutalisk are just going to devour them. Red Mutalisk? The one counter to my strategy. The few when Reapers don't fly here. Uh... Increases attack. Wait, adepts have increased attack speed here. Wait, why doesn't Phoenix have resonating glaive? I want faster attack speed adepts. Uh, 
A what's up, Dragon Pawn? How is it going? Oh god, I have no anti-air either. Oh man. Oh Banshee. What is this? All right. Hmm. Hmm. No, I shouldn't do that. That's not the correct unit for this situation. Uh, wait, how much are Phoenixes? Why are they 140? Yo, Phoenixes are honestly not even that good. Alright, I'm doing it. I think yellow is hands down the best modifier for DPS units. I guess as a Mutalisk, I guess red is pretty good because you're just going hard anyways. Um, but yeah. Hmm, I should turn this off. Graviton beam on the on my guys are pretty bad. Okay, adept with increased attack speed. Okay. Um. Uh, oh my God, red banshee, red banshee detected. Bam, 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 bam. Uh. There we go. The leveler. There we go. It's PK from Clan A. What's up, PK? How is it going? Uh, I'm gonna get some Banshees. I mean, not Banshees. This one and this one, I'm gonna turn off their Graviton Prison because that's counteracting. Oh my god, oh my god. Eradicate. Yo, Adepts have no chill, man. They're just like, eradicate. Yo, these Immortals are basically just my, my version of Siege Tanks at this point. They just, they just are constantly in the back, just pounding away. Oh my god. And then... I got these Phoenixes here pounding away with 10 range. I have their Graviton Beam turned off so they don't like, do stupid things. Such as fly into close range and commit Sudoku. Uh... Uh, let's see. Oof. Okay. I'm gonna go for a third gas. You remember playing this custom six years ago? I remember it was Red Liberators. Oh yeah, Red Liberators are beautiful. But yeah. Uh, but this was here six years ago? Dang, this is... This is old, old. I only discovered this mode like three years ago, I would say. Uh, or I discovered Direct Strike like three years ago. Yeah. Um... Let's see. Gonna need some more UED Topaz, man. Get some more Yellow Immortals. Yellow Immortals are a rather expensive option, though, to be fair. But, um... I think they more than make up for it with their ridiculous DPS. Uh, I'm starting to think Phoenixes should actually have red instead of yellow on them. I'm thinking red would have served my Phoenixes better. Yeah, Archons are generally a pretty strong unit, too. There's so much bio everywhere. Let's see, what is this? I have Interference ma Matrix. Oh my god, I got I got stunned? Bro, leave my guys alone. Oh no. Yeah. There we go. Uh... I'm gonna keep sending out some more Immortals here. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna need something else here. I think we're gonna need to get some Tempest, boys. Oh no, Koras! If nothing had the massive modifier, go Zer tool and spam Immortals and cancel any air. Yeah. Massive modifier is pretty tough. That's a lot of Immortals. I mean, are those all real Archons? No, there's not real Archons. Okay. Alright, Immortals, just destroy everything that's uh, fake, please. Thank you very much. I mean, destroy everything that's... Only hit everything that's real. This is a blue Archon? Oh my god. Blue Archons are actually pretty nutty as a tank. Uh... Oh no, my yellow Immortals, they're going down. Got some red Vikings here. Red Vikings. Wait, Vikings only have 6 ground range? Let's see. Red Vikings in the sky. Rockets red glare. Oh baby. Uh I I need to go I need to tear up boys. Can you switch your combined colors? You can't combine colors 
And once you have a color for a unit, they're stuck with that color forever. Uh, red Mutalisk, honestly, I think a really good choice. I think that's actually a really good usage of Mutalisk. Because I, I think red is a very hard one to use. Uh, usually you want to put it on a unit that already has long range or does good damage. Um, so yeah. Purple Sentry Illusion Spam didn't change. Red Tempest would be a death sentence. What do you think I'm trying to do right now? <laughs> Let's see, what do we got here? 10 range. Air is 14. Air is 14? There we go. Our charge. This Tempest is charged up, boys. Uh, gain 2% attack range. I can get a Mothership. It won't actually be good, though. Wait, how do I get my how do I upgrade my Tempest here? Improves Tempest research tecton. Ah, what do you mean? Yo, Tia is trolling me. Do you see this? When do you think Zara's gonna be finished? I honestly have no idea. Yo, you look. Like I have to buy a fleet beacon. Huh? <laughs> oh, but yeah. Never knew that when they played that. So, so actually, that's a great way to stop uh, the bounces. Uh, look how fast this Tempest is. But yeah, getting getting illusions is actually a great way to counter Immortals. I mean, like counter counter Mutalisk. Um, oh god, my Tempest getting ripped from the sky though. Um, but yeah, Swan Red Goliaths. Oh my god, Swan Red Goliaths would be insane. Yeah, I think Zerto will probably be at least two or three months, at at the very least, before he even has his full roster, and then give like another two or three months before he's actually balanced. Because Manx's development lifetime, that was kind of similar to what what we were seeing. Like, it took uh like, like Manx already had all his units basically ready, so yeah. But it took like two or three months to like remake it. Multitask HT stalker deployment results blinking micro. There we go. I'll get my ground weapons here. I'm getting hit with the feedback here. Let's see. Uh, oh my god, my tempests are being confused. Uh, there we go. Projectile is small. Come on, red tempest, let's go. Yellow sand would actually be nuts. Yellow Kerrigan Hydras as well? Oh my god. Like, imagine. Oh. It will be insane. Alright, let's get some more. Let's get some more Char Agate here. We are the Spear. Let's see. But yeah, I generally have more fun with, um, with, with, uh, with this mode. With the Crystal mode. Oh, yellow broodlords, red tychus. Oh my god, that would be too good. I was considering going red void rays actually, um, but I decided against it. Um, let's see. That's a bunch of illusions here. Yeah, commander bra with weapons. That would be pretty good, honestly. Like, Weapons Commander Brawl, man. I think everyone's been saying it, but Tia just doesn't want to do it, man. I don't know why. Because it's it's so good. Who doesn't want this, man? Like, imagine Rainer Marauders with yellow, man. They're already insane. Oh, it looks like, looks like Marauders still lose to Stalkers, though. Um, Colossus would help versus that. Alright, Arius. I will do that. Oh my god, Colossus are 325. Holy... And they don't even have... They have bonus versus light, I guess. Okay, they have 7 attack range. Mm hmm Alright, then. I should probably use more... I should probably get more sentries, then. Uh, maybe I'll get a yellow Colossus here. Uh, oh, my God. I think a yellow Colossus would be helpful, actually. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna get some more Colossi here. I'm gonna put them in front. The Immortals are single target, that is true, at the end of the day. Red Infested, too hard to balance. 
Uh, I don't know if it would be too hard to balance. I mean, weekly brawls are inherently imbalanced to begin with, so it's like, what are you even trying to do, you know? Like, let's get that UD Topaz here. I think giving Colossi more range is pretty good. They don't need more attack speed, I guess. Uh, but I'll put down some more Colossi here. Should put down some more sentries, actually. Uh, yeah, because this one sentry, you've got the hallucinate mode on. Uh, oh yeah, look at that yellow Colossus, boys. Yellow Colossus, man. That laser beam is going, but he's focus firing that Archon. Which, I mean, I suppose is okay. Uh, there we go. There we go. Come on, Yellow Colossus, get him. Get him, Yellow Colossus. Actually, Yellow Colossus did a huge number. Um, oh my god, Yellow Colossus is Warbringer that we never had. Yeah. Yeah, Gear could actually make every commander very, very interesting. Like, you have no DPS, bro? Just slap yellow on something, and then suddenly you're super strong. Uh, I got my yellow immortals. Wow, the yellow colossus really turned the tide. It really turned the tide by itself. What the? That was insane. Yo, thank you for that suggestion. I want to put down some more regular colossi, though. Yeah, I guess I have too much single target. Um, the tempests are still pretty good. Uh, yellow colossus focus firing the archon. Alright, went down. But yeah. We got a carrier coming in here. Oh my god, Chloros is crazy. If Destroyer would be good with red. I don't know, I think it attacks too fast already. Maybe more range, yeah? Uh oh, I'm being outranged in the Tempest department here. Um, eh, good enough. Red Tempest here doing quite a bit of damage. Blue Battle Cruiser. What a mad lad. That thing will tank everything. Uh huh. There we go. I'm gonna get another yellow colossus. Since the yellow colossus was so good, I'm getting another one. I'm getting another one. Do I need another one? I don't think I need another one. I'll just put one down here. Um. Hmm. But yeah. Mass yellow colossus eliminates all ground. Now imagine. Imagine if these were Karax Colossi and they were yellow. Oh my god. We got some yellow Broodlords here. Broodlords may finally be useful now with increased attack speed and range. Big if true. Uh, we got some blue carriers. That is very interesting indeed. I mean, my red Tempests are just going to tear a hole through them, I think. Um... Yeah, I think my red tempest is gonna rip a hole through him. Oh, I got stunned. My colossi both got stunned by the ravens. It's okay though. Anything's wave is pushing right through. And yeah, look at these colossi go, man. They are ripping it, ripping it to shreds, literally. All right. A blue blaze. Oh my god, blue blaze would be so hard to deal with. Um, I'm floating a lot of resources right now. What do I need more of? I need something to counter those Tempests, man. Uh, let's get an army of these guys here. But I think the counter enemy Tempest, I might just need some more Tempests. Uh, but like, red instead of yellow. Uh, there we go. Bam. Get that scan going. Oh my god, it's a blue viking? Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I'm actually tempted to just go for more yellow colossi. God, should I do that? I'm gonna go for a red tempest. I'm go for a red tempest here. I'm gonna go for a gas. I got so much money right now. Um, um, what else do we got here? How how does the disruptor work here? Colossus are just OP. Yeah. 
Yeah. I think two yellow Colossi are so, so good. Um, yeah, they're just shredding everything. Like, imagine these were Karak's Colossi, though. Like, or Warbringer. Imagine you have yellow Warbringer. Uh, like, yellow Warbringer would be nuts. Uh, yeah, my Colossi are just harvesting the back line. Oh, we're just gonna run through the base. Okay. I'm all about that. Oh, I definitely should have gotten another yellow Colossi then. They just power through and, like, attack the base. And time for my own mass sentry. I'm actually thinking about, uh... How do, what do these things do? We have to hit up some I live ons. What do I live ons do? Let's see. Are there any upgrades for I live on? No, there's no upgrades, of course. Shadow Stride, okay. Flux Veins. Why would I ever buy Flux Veins? Oh, these are Abrogator Disruptors. Oh, that is so good. Um, Prismatic Alignment, okay. Yellow Warbringer with a blue phoenix. Like, imagine that, boys. Yellow Warbringer going burr. That would be so beautiful. Uh, yellow Void might also help. Hmm. You are correct with that. I think red actually can't be put on Void Rays because they attack too fast. So, like, it would literally be impossible to increase their attack speed any further. You are correct. Let's get some yellow voids in here. Fire at will. Prismatic Core Online. 11 range. Okay, I'm just going to get all my armor upgrades here. Because I have so much money right now. Um, yeah, I'm lacking anti-air. Yeah. I guess that's what the Void Rays are for, right? I don't know. Let's see. Um, let's see. 13. I'm hitting them with Prismatic Alignment, boys. Prismatic alignment. I need an anti-carrier option, though. I think. Uh, like my my yeah, my red tempests are are laying down the beatdown, but um, they are no match for the yellow tempests at least. The yellow tempests can shoot so far away. Like they can shoot from twenty range away against enemy air units. Uh, I mean, my Colossi are definitely dropping it down here. Uh, guide us. You can still force ground. I could still force ground. Uh, let's see, how, what's the cooldown on this? 21 seconds. Hmm. Having this happen twice as fast, I mean three times as fast, would mean every seven seconds? Hmm, I don't know about that. Okay, I'm going to get some air armor here. Seems like I could buff my Void Rays a bit, if possible. Um, there we go. Melt through the carriers. Got some enemy phoenixes here. Yellow Stepman Lurker or red? Uh, I would actually give purple. If this affects Ste Stepman's energy, it would actually be so good. But yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get this here. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna power up these void rays here. Red tempests are always delivering. Yellow immortals are just running it. Uh, yellow yellow colossi have been delivering. Um, get some more. I'm gonna get some more regular colossi maybe. I'll just go at colossi work. Gear seems so broken sometimes. Yeah, it does Arius. Uh, let's see. I'll get some more colossi here for now, but I think I should get some more anti air. Yeah. If energy regen uh, affects it, then like, yeah, it's so good. Speeding acceleration. I should get like a, like a, a blue mothership or something. Uh, Alright. Oh, we got the scan coming in. Oh no, not the Yamato. Okay. I got some yellow void rays dropping some damage detail here. Liberators. Liberating Void Rays Focus Firing Oh my Void Rays all went down 
Red Tempest was still here. Red Sovereign BC or Wrathwalker? Oh my god, but it has to get you within range first. I think a red Wrathwalker would be very scary, actually, because uh, of how fast it could attack, and it's already got good range. Um, but imagine like a like a yellow Rainer tank, like Rainer tank with five more range, fast siege, and the insane attack speed it has. Like 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 yellow gives attack speed as well. So like like uh, I think that would be the scariest tank. I would say that would be even scarier than a Manx tank uh, on yellow. Because I think yellow, yellow on Manx tank would exhaust it completely. Oh, I think the thing with, with this mode is like, I think the most expensive unit is 500 minerals. So if you use energy on a 500 like mineral unit or higher, it exhausts the energy bar from 100 completely. So I think Tia is just like, how do I rebalance around 500 for energy, for energy probably? Cause it's, cause, cause if if he did that, then like it would actually be really good, rebalancing 500. I would say red Manx tank is probably better. Oh my god! Anything running under the nexus with her marauders. She's the real hero with these marauders. Oh my god. But yeah, I I would say red red Manx tanks would probably be pretty good. Yeah, blue is really tanky. Blue triples the health of your unit and triples the shields of your unit, so it's actually pretty good. Uh, wow, I actually dealt so much damage. What? Wait, that's crazy. That's crazy. Anyways, I'm thinking it was the yellow Colossi coupled with, um, oh, the yellow Phoenix actually got, did some work. I think the yellow Immortals did a lot of work too. Like, that was, that was pretty hype, honestly. I don't know about the Void Rays though. Yellow Thor is amazing against those Phoenix. Yeah. In the rear with the gear. The tires. Let's light some fires. They picked the wrong fight. <laughs>